In this video, I want to talk about the fundamental numbering system called binary, which although it's pretty easy, there's a lot of people that don't actually know how it works. Specifically, what we're going to look at in this video is showing you what all the zeros and ones mean, how to convert from binary to decimal, and how to convert from decimal to binary. The binary numbering system isn't all that different from other numbering systems other than its base value. Binary has a base of 2. The numbering system that we're all familiar with has a base of 10. There's also other numbering systems such as octal, which has a base of 8, and hexadecimal, which has a base of 16. So, before we can start counting in binary and doing binary conversions, we must first learn how to count in the numbering system that we're all familiar with, the base 10 or decimal numbering system. So let's get started. The decimal system, which is the numbering system we use in our day-to-day -day lives, is a base 10 system, and this means that every digit can have one of 10 different numbers. And those numbers for a base 10 system is going to be the numbers from 0 up to 9. Every digit that is written from right to left has exponentially more value as it goes from right to left. So for the first digit, every number here is worth 1 apiece. For the second digit, every number is worth 10. For the third digit, every number is worth 100. And for the fourth digit, every number is worth 1,000. And this 1, 10, 100, 1,000 works out to be 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, and 10 to the 3. So now I went ahead and I put an actual number in here. I put 1782. And normally we would just refer to this as 1782 or 1782 or something like that. So because I put a 2 here, this first digit is worth 2. 2 times 10 to the 0. Here, it's 80 times 10 is 80. 7 times 100 is 700. And then 1 times 1,000 is 1,000. So if I wanted to reconstruct this number manually, I would do 1,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 2. And the result would be 1,782. And, at least in English, the exact values are in the way we say it. So 1,782. So you're probably thinking now, Engineer Man, you are insulting my intelligence. I already know how to count. I've been doing it my whole life. And I, I promise you I'm not. I only go through this because this is exactly the same as binary, except binary, instead of all the tens, it's a bunch of twos. So now let's go through this exact same exercise, but with binary. Okay, so now what I've written here is exactly the same as our other numbering system, except it's base 2. All the rules are exactly the same. This first digit, however, rather than having 10 possible numbers, it now has two possible numbers, either a 0 or a 1. And rather than being worth 10 to the 0, it is worth 2 to the 0, which is 1. And then just like with base 10, it gets exponentially higher as you go from right to left, so it goes from 1 to 2 to 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Which translates into 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and so on, all the way up to 2 to the 7. So just like our base 10 example, I've inserted a number, and it is 00101011. So let's just read this from right to left. There's a 1 here, and this is worth 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. The second one is a 1, multiplied by 2 is 2. This one's a 1, multiplied by 8 is 8. And this one's a 1, multiplied by 32 is 32. When you add up all those numbers, 32 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, you get 43, meaning this binary number is worth 43. And then next, we're just going to count to 5 in binary. So with all zeros, of course, it's just 0. That's the same as base 10 or base 8 or any of their numbering systems. So this is 0. This is 1. This is 2. This is 3. This is 4. And this is 5. So that covers explanation of binary and converting binary to decimal. The last thing we're going to do is to convert decimal to binary. So I started by picking a random number like 87. This is going to be the number that we're going to convert to binary. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to look at every digit for the value that it has here, and we're going to see if we can subtract from our decimal that value without going below zero. And if we can, we're going to put a 1, and we're going to subtract it from the decimal. So we'll start with 128. If we subtract 128 from 87, we definitely get a negative number, meaning we have to move to the next one. Now 64 we can subtract from 87 and the result we get is 23. So what we'll do is we'll change this to a 1 and then we'll lower this to 23. And now we just keep going. Can we subtract 32 from 23? No, not without going negative. Can we subtract 16 from 23? Yes we can. And we get a 7. So we put a 1 here, we lower this to a 7. Can we subtract 8 from 7? No. Can we subtract 4 from 7? Yes we can. So we set that to a 1 and we reduce that to 3. Can we subtract 2 from 3? Yes, we can. So we set it to a 1, and we set that to 1. And then can we subtract 1 from 1? We can. So we set that to 1, and this becomes 0. 
And after this, we have our final binary value, which is 01010111, which is 87 in decimal. And that's it for the video. I know binary is pretty basic, but a lot of people actually don't know it. So definitely tell me in the comments if this was your first time learning how to count in binary. And as always, if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in this video, please put those below as well. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care.